In the first week of it, in October, we arrived in Guangzhou to start our China cycle tour with World Expeditions. It was a busy time in China as it was their main one week holiday for all of China. Trying to run for size. Then we're on our way on the first day's riding, about 45 k. Yeah, good. I've just got to check my saddle. You sound like a Kiwi who has been in Australia for a long while. I have. On the first day of cycling, we drove for two hours on a major highway to where we could ride on back roads. They were reasonably busy. It was 40 k's to Zhao Qing. It's like a, a public place for Vietnam. Yeah. It's our first day. So it's not. The roads on the trip were usually all in very good condition and generally with a good cycling edge. We had two nights in Zhao Quinh and spent the day there on a 15 kilometre cycle around the city's lake, a visit to the Star Lake Park and its limestone islands. I wonder if you met, if we met our interpreter, he's our interpreter, Liz, Liz, he's our interpreter, Liz, Liz. <laughs> and in the afternoon, we visited a Buddhist monastery on top of a mountain near the town. Before the trip, we drove for about an hour, then on our bikes at 10.30 a.m. for approximately 70 k ride on quite back roads in hot weather. So the day three of cycling, our truck and our bus. Started day three of cycling. Stop, make the bus turn right. We've got to get everybody today. A long delay at some roadworks with a truck tangled in overhead lines and a stop for a great lunch as usual meant that by 5 pm we called it a day. This section of road was in poor condition but no more than two kilometres long and was the exception. Interesting little town for lunch. Pretty quiet. Free of cycling. Quite hot. What do you reckon, John? I reckon bloody good. What? Bloody good tucker. It's uh, 5 o'clock, packing our vehicles. Running out of battery. And in China, all the public toilets, they don't have toilet paper, so you need to prepare by yourself. And Saturday 7th of October was a very hot day with a couple of reasonable climbs and beautiful countryside. We were on pretty quiet back roads and the villages and towns along this route were more older style and very interesting. Here we stopped for lunch. In mid-afternoon we visited a large limestone cave area for a walk and a short boat trip before cycling to 
Wang Yua. This is definitely not a tourist town and would not have had many European visitors, which made it more interesting to us. We're in China to see the real lifestyle of the country. Start of day five of cycling. Next day we rode out of Wang Yua and after four kilometres visited an agricultural village where the 200 to 500 year old fortified buildings had been maintained. They're not no longer for living but for storage. Riding, waiting for the others to catch up from behind. Beautiful country this one is. It was a hot day cycling with some hills and a long hill up to our lunch stop where we had a nice lunch under some trees. At the 45k mark it was very hot so the group decided to ride another 10k's and then we'd all get in the bus. <laughs> Yang Shan, really quite a nice hotel we stayed in last night. So far, so good. Very good. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lovely bunch of people. <laughs> well, sort of lovely. <laughs> <laughs> we stayed in a nice hotel in Yang Shan, as often happens in these quite back country areas. People want to be photographed with us tourists. So the hotel receptionist was photographing us while we were booking in. The guide said it may have been at least two years since they had any European guests. Nice place. to Lian Shan was again hot. Beautiful countryside, concrete roads with good edges. Not much traffic as, ne as a nearby highway had recently been opened. Accommodation at Breakfast. So old and chilly like me. <laughs> and me. <laughs> Lian Shan to Zongshan. Again, beautiful countryside, generally flat roads, but very hot, so plenty of rest stops. So the 11th, start out, just done 2Ks. Lunchstop town with Daning Na Daning.
Wednesday, the 11th of October, the last day of long cycling, again a relatively flat roads, good surface, only busy in a few areas. However, cycling in busy areas, one feels quite safe as there is no road rage and all vehicles give slow vehicles and cycles plenty of room. Just getting ready for a very short bike ride. Very hot. The road's excellent. Very hot. Loved it. Yes. Yeah. If we did not. If it wasn't for that crack ride. Yeah. It wasn't for that. Look at me! Oh, you're having a new one. Come on. Four of our team. Next year oh. is a tourist town, particularly for the Chinese, but quite a lot of Europeans visit this beautiful area. The town is full of small and large restaurants to cater for the huge tourist trade. <laughs> well, we're staying at Enshu for two nights, so for the rest of the day, we rode from the city to the River Loop and a quite country area. The highlight was visiting our second guide, oh, Tang's home, oh, no, a small village nearby. <laughs> One has to say, for a disparate group of people, we got on very well and had a great time. The next day, two of the group were departing and the rest of us were flying with our guide Ta Tijian for two nights and then the overnight train to Beijing for two days sightseeing.